And then, so what, what's the impact of that? Say, Claire, who cares? I've got all these chemicals in, whatever. Well, over time, these chemicals accumulate in your body. Now, everybody's heard of the liver. So the liver's one of its 2,000 jobs in its life is to filter toxins. So you can imagine before you've even left the house, your poor liver has been inundated with chemicals. Plus, you know, it's trying to process the food you ate. Plus, it's trying to regulate your blood. Plus, it's trying to make sure that your immune system's good. Plus, it's trying to make bile to make sure that your bowel's good. It's doing a zillion things. It's trying to keep you warm. It's trying to hormone regulate. It's doing so much. And we're just pouring chemicals into it. Now, the beauty of the liver, it's like a sponge. So it will take things. But what does a sponge do? It absorbs, it absorbs, it absorbs, it absorbs, it absorbs. So it's absorbing all of this stuff. And then, you you know, there's 15 litres of fluid that the um, liver produces that travels in your lymphatic system. What's your lymphatic system? It is your body's sewage system. It is your body's immune system. So you can imagine the liver is producing all of this fluid. It's saying to the lymphatic system, dude, I've had all these chemicals for breakfast. I'm not dealing. Can you please help me here? So the lymphatic system's like, yep, yeah, I can help filter some of these chemicals out. And then the liver's like, well, actually, we're a little bit overburdened. Let's make some cholesterol and let's get all these chemicals and wrap them in fat and cholesterol and just deposit it around the body because we don't have time to deal with it because they're about to leave the house and they're about to be exposed to more chemicals. We are in an emergency situation here. So the body is in an emergency situation just trying to deal with the 80,000 chemicals you're going to be exposed to that day. That's right, 80,000 chemicals you are exposed to every day. And are all of them tested for safety? Hell no. In my research into the beauty industry and the chemicals that are in there, nobody's doing any research. None of the studies have been completed. They're just saying, nah, this be right. This is left over from this. You have that. The triclosan that I spoke of earlier is actually chemically related to ancient Agent Orange from the Vietnam War. And we all know the amount of damage that DDT and Agent Orange has done to the population. Well, triclosan is a chemical co cousin of that. Like, why are we brushing our teeth in it? You can tell I'm pretty passionate about this subject. I really think that we need to make a stand. Our poor lymphatic system. So I'll go back to the lymphatic system. If it it's supposed to be this lovely flowing river that is helping clean your blood. When you go to sleep at night, it's busy cleaning away, healing the body, doing all the things that you, so you wake up the next morning feeling fantastic. Now, are you waking up in the morning feeling fantastic? If you're not, that is a sign of invisible inflammation. So invisible inflammation is what doesn't show up on scans. It doesn't show up in blood tests but it has symptoms like bloating, gas, skin problems, puffiness, fatigue, um, susceptibility to every virus and cold going around town, um, varicose veins, uh, little, you know, those little spider capillary veins, like all of that is a sign of invisible inflammation. So you'll go to the doctor and you're like, I just don't feel right. They'll run every test under the sun and they'll come back to you and say, there's nothing wrong with you. But the research shows that invisible inflammation is the number one killer. And what causes invisible inflammation? Our body's exposure to toxins. It just can't cope with the amount of toxicity in our life at the moment. Now, yes, you can eat organic, but what about all the other, what about your cleaning products, your garden products? What about the petrol you use to cut? What about the clothes you're wearing? All of that. What about all of that? So if you want to know more about how you can help your body by reducing the amount of chemicals and toxicity it's exposed to, or if you want to help your body get rid of invisible inflammation, in the 25 years I've been in healthcare, I have seen nothing like the ANF therapy to help the body remove inflammation. It is amazing. 